Welcome to Bread for a Friend. I want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule today to uh, join us for this uh, time of devotion, this time of looking in the Word of God. I pray that these have been a help and encouragement to you. That is my heart desire. I want to help God's people in these days we live in. We're in a time of a lot of confusion and chaos, but I'm glad this Bible is our guide. It is our strength. It is our help. And so we want to just take a few minutes and look into some verses. We've been thinking upon this thought of personal revival. I really believe with all my heart the answer for every situation that we're seeing in our country, in our churches, in our families, the answer for us that are saved is to have personal revival. For us to get thoroughly right with the Lord and get on fire for the Lord, let him stir us up, I believe that is the answer for this day. We've been looking at this thing of personal revival. And we've The thing we've been dealing with a lot here lately is this fact that personal revival will affect your vision, your vision. We talked about it, it'd help you have a vision, a clear vision. I'm not talking about dreams and that sort of thing. I what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the eye of faith of the scripture that we'll see our the Savior as clear and see him and be in love with him like we need to and serve him. Then we take a look at self. And the day I'll look here in uh, Isaiah 6 and verse 5, as we continue on this thought, where the Bible said, Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips, for mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. He said, I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. Not only we need to get a good, fresh glimpse uh, and, and look at the Savior, the Sovereign, and self, we need to see sinners. All around us today, my friend, there's people who are lost. We're going to meet them, uh, whether it's at a restaurant, at a gas station, uh, wherever we may shop, uh, maybe even our own family. You can have family members that live under the roof of your home. That's not safe. We will meet somebody lost today at school, at work, wherever it may be. All around us, there are people who need to know Christ as their personal Savior. The Lord Jesus came in this world and he tasted death for all men. Not just an elect, not just a few, but he tasted death for all men. It does, and you, hey, you may be even watching today and say, Preacher, I'm lost, but you don't know how bad I am. You don't know what I've done. I, I don't, and it's not, it's not important whether I know or not anyhow. The Lord does, and the Lord died for your sin. He wants to save you. Oh, friend, listen, uh, we, I've got family members, you've got family members who are lost that are on this broad way headed to an eternal burning hell. And we need to get a burden. We need to get back where we pray and we fast and we witness and, and, and we're, we, we realize all around us that people need the Lord. I, I think about over the book of Romans. I, I, I think about these verses very often. In Romans chapter number 10, Paul said this, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. His own people, he was concerned about their salvation. I believe first and foremost, you ought to have a burden for your family, then a burden for your friends, then burden for those we just meet in general throughout the day who are lost. May God revive us that we get a burden of how those who are lost, invite them, bring them to church, get them to the house of God, give them the gospel. And listen, I'm glad Jesus saves to the uttermost all that come to him. Well, I hope this time of devotion has been a help. Till next bread for a friend, may God bless you is our prayer.